What's up everybody, it's Coach Cab coming back to you guys again today with another reaction video. I haven't done a reaction video in a long time, so I'm excited to get this one done. Today I'm going to react to one of the games that me and my girls played at the tournament in New Jersey. So I made a video about that. It is in my Purpose Driven Basketball series. It's called Live Your Purpose. So if you haven't seen that yet, I will pin that in the comments below. Definitely check that out. The road ahead is going to be rough and paved with many ups and downs, but we gotta have our minds focused on the things we can control. There are endless opportunities to help you get better, and we're gonna take advantage of each and every one of them. Because every day is a new day for you to find your purpose and to start living. So I'm going to get back to doing reactions and I'm going to react to game film and not necessarily only our game film. I might react to NBA game film, college basketball game film, any type, type of basketball game film. But I'm trying to get back into this reaction video type stuff. Also, I might add other coaches with me recording and we both watch game film together and then you can get two different perspectives of what's going on. So look forward to that. I'm also going to start a how-to series, like how to do a crossover, how to do some type of dribble move, how to shoot. Definitely look out for that. That should be exciting as well. And as I said, I have the Purpose Driven Basketball series that I'm going to hopefully continue. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the last video I put out with that, and I'm just looking forward to making many, many more. So without further ado, I'm going to react to the game film of the first indoor AU tournament me and my girls participated in New Jersey. I only did the first half highlights for this game because I wanted to keep the highlights shorter so that I could talk more, show my perspective, and just give my inside information and just talk about what's going on. Hopefully you guys enjoy that better than the long, long videos. I don't want to make this super, super long, but I want you guys to understand what I'm seeing and better understand the game of basketball and what's going on on the court. But my goal still is to hopefully help each and every one of you find your purpose in life. So without further ado, let's get into the highlights, baby. All right, this is our first offensive possession of the game. So let's put the cross, good. Let's see what we get out of here. Good attack. Damn. It was good though. I think it worked good. It just, just, damn, she just lost the ball. All right, attacking Lex, kicks it out, great. So that's the type of offense I love. Pushing it, even though Gianna missed the shot, early offense, him going for the three, good. We stuck with it, and Trista, that's it. So even though we missed the three, we still played through it. Trista got the steal, put up, and we end up scoring. That's the playing style I love to watch. I love it. All right, let's see what we do here. So we try, this is the same set that we try to run again. Uh, wrong person, Lex. Come on, Lex. So good. Good. Good shot. I love it. She took that one from deep, but I don't mind our, my kids shooting. Look at that. Second. Ah, I missed a second. I don't mind kids shooting like that from deep because they work on their game. So they practice that so they can knock that down. Good down screen. Good post up. Damn, just got to get stronger with that. So we're getting good offensive possessions here. Like, we're getting good offensive with like, good looks. And I told this to the girls that we just got to start making shots. We're struggling scoring consistently. But as they get more reps in the gym, it's gonna our scoring is going to gradually get higher and higher and higher. I told, I told the girls our goal is to score 50 points every game. That's definitely lofty goals, but I feel like they can reach that. But like I said, every possession on off since so far has been good. We just missed a shot or we just didn't go up strong. But the good thing is that even though we were missing, we're getting second chance opportunities, which is very, very big in the game of basketball. All right, down screen, Trista pops up, another open three. I love it, we just missed it. So I love the shot. Good, you look ahead, Lex, look ahead. Pull up three. Mm, maybe could have dished it off. Maybe, let's see. Could she have dished that off? Ah, that would have been tough. I don't mind the shot. Don't mind the shot at all. Another second chance point. I mean, check, 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 second chance bucket. 
So we got a second chance opportunity and just missed a three. So we got two good looks for three. Look at that. But we're staying with it. Don't put our heads down because we missed shots. We're just playing, playing, playing. Good job to stop them from put, bringing the ball up. All right, good screen, Gianna. Ah, uh, so that's my fault. My fault, my fault. So the, one of the biggest things that I learned as we kept going on is our spacing is not good. And as a coach, that was 100% my fault that I did not put them in better position to be spaced out on the court. Because the better space you can be on offense, the more opportunities you have to dribble drive and to kick out for open shots if there's help. This was in the early stages, like I said, one of our first few games. And as you can tell, two girls, boom, like right next to each other as Lexus is trying to drive and then it's easy for the defense to help in that situation. But we got better at it, so. Uh, she misses it. I have no idea what's going on here. I don't know why I kept this. Yo, good, good D, Trista. So we're playing. Ah, that's why. Good D. Good D. We played through and played good D. Good. So what do we call here? Good. Good. Oh, man. Offense. Offense. Let's run that. Let's see. Let's run that back. I like that. I like this. So this is Alpha timeout. Just trying to get an open three. Great job, girls. Great, great set, and they ran it to perfection. Right, let's see what we do here. I'm calling the play. Good drive, good drive. Oh man, that's our best offense of the game. Drive, drive. Sorry guys, I know I keep winding, but that just is, that's beautiful. Our best offense of the game. This is our best possession right here. Drive, Gianna drove. Kick to Trista, drove, kick to Lex, open three. That's basketball, baby. Basketball one on one. Good attack, Lex. And one! Good attack, Lex. So you see the spacing on that one? So what I started doing was a two man game. So what a two man game is, you have two people. Offensive players on the same side of the court, so on the right side, left side of the court, then you space everybody out to the opposite side. So it's only two people working together. So if one of the defenders helps, it's easier for them to make a pass and it's not a lot of traffic. So as you can see, two man game, pick and roll on this side, no help. Lexus goes strong and one. Great job, Lex. Good drive, Tris. Traffic, good pass out. Miss it. Second chance opportunity again. Good job, Tris. Staying with it. High ball screen. Attack on the ball screen. Not there. Driving kick. Driving kick. Oh, this is good. Oh, man. What? So, stuff. We got to see that again. I know, guys. But I'm just so excited when I see these things. Stuff like this. Just shows me so much like our potential and I know it's there. We just got to be patient. I always say practice patience, patience, enjoy the journey, trust the process, trust the process. So we just got to trust the process. But when I see possessions like this, I'm like, this is where we can be. And once we start doing this consistently, day in, day out, game in, game out. Oh my gosh, that's high level basketball, baby. So let's see it again. So I lied, sorry. This was our best offensive possession. Cause there was just a lot, or maybe, you could argue both of them. Good, high ball screen, drive and kick. Don't force it. Ooh, right there. Shot fake, drive, baseline, great look. Oh, that's basketball, man. Clock's running down, clock's running down. Good drive. Ooh, count it, count it. Good drive, Tristan. So that's how we ended the half. So right now it is 27 to 24. We're up by three going into the second half. So I'll be dropping the second half sometime next week. I don't know if it'll be Monday or Wednesday's video next week, but definitely look out for the second half of this game. I'll be doing the same thing, just like 
Coach's Corner. I don't know if I should call it Coach's Corner, Game Film 101, Basketball 101, something like that. But I'm going to definitely try to turn this into a series where I'm watching game film and all that good stuff. But like I said, what I got from this game is that there's some good and there was some bad. Yes, we could get better at some things, but we definitely did a lot of things right. So my goal as a coach is to negate the negative and continue to strive on the positive. So we'll keep going, we'll keep getting better. I'm excited, we just started, this is just the beginning. Stay with us, watch us all grow together and see what we can become. Don't forget to subscribe, do all that good YouTube stuff, like, comment, share, everything YouTube says we have to ask for in order for our channels to grow. Till next time, this is Coach Kev, Purpose Driven, my girls and me, we're out, peace.